Hey guys, it's me, Tired Mama here for another Powfish video. So a couple things, housekeeping real quick. Make sure you are subscribed and the notification bell is on. Make sure you also watch until the end of the video because I'm going to be giving away an Amazon Basics Thermal Laminator. Learn how at the end. So something happened this week. I was contacted by two teachers over the weekend who had been banned by Powfish. What happened? Well, they were active teachers. But anytime they tried to log in, it would pop up, pop up and say, token error. Contact customer service. And it took some digging. So basically, the teachers had both posted something that the system found to be inappropriate. Understand that our moments and our comments are monitored by the computer system. And sometimes you can be kicked off or banned for a computer error. But listen as to why. Teacher number one posted a photo of her and her friend at the beach in bikinis. Nothing wrong with that. Everything was covered, but the system took that as pornography. We have to assume that it's a very quick scan on the computer side. They took it as two girls hugging, very little clothing, must be porn, delete. Um, on the other side, the other teacher actually posted a picture of art that had a naked man in it. Just thinking, this is art. These rules were set in place not only to protect the students, but to protect us as well. The same way that if we report someone who's being inappropriate on the Palfish app, it happens to us too, okay? So I wanted to give you four things to not do and get banned, okay? Number one thing that you should not do under any circumstances on the Palfish app is swear or curse, as we say here. We should not be teaching kids to do that either. Unfortunately, that happened recently too. Um, we can't beep words out on the app, okay? Number one, that is so unprofessional, okay? I am that mom that if I'm in the store and you cuss, I'm gonna tell my child to step outside and I'm fixing to give you a piece of my mind because it's unprofessional, okay? Teaching is a profession that we are viewed as um, at a higher standard or higher level of decency than others because we work with kids. That's vital that you do not, do not swear or curse or teach a child to do that either. Okay, number two, going off my little post-it note here, ha. nudity or porn. Don't post a picture of yourself in a swimsuit at the beach. It may be a cute picture. It may be an innocent picture but you're gonna get flagged for it, okay? Don't post a picture of a baby that's naked, okay? Um, anything like that that may be from a distance that you can see how they may misconstrue it, just don't do it because it will get you kicked off the app. Now, you can be reinstated. We were able to get these teachers taken care of very quickly, but do you really wanna risk it? I mean, think if this happened at the beginning of a Saturday night run and you had 10 classes, you're locked out and no one can get you back in and you miss 10 classes. Okay, so just don't risk it guys. Number three, should be a no brainer. Do not spam or recruit on the app. Okay, do not spam and do not recruit on the app. You should not be recruiting for another company on Palfish. Okay, at all. And the mention of another company will get you locked out. Okay, so be smart. Okay, don't recruit on the app. And number four, Palfish is not a dating site. Okay, if you say inappropriate things to a teacher, you'll be locked out. Now, that protects us and it protects our students. These are common sense rules and guidelines, guys. 
don't put your job at jeopardy maybe because you don't agree with one of these rules. Most of the time these are system issues because there's no way that a group as small as Palfish could monitor every single post and moment that we make. It's not doable. So they rely on a computer system to do that for them. And it can hurt you sometimes. So be smart in your post, be smart in your content. Okay? Um, and you should be good to go. I've never had a problem, but I don't post things like that. Okay. Um, when you are posting things, make sure you're posting them with a question. That encourages engagement on your moments. The more engagement you have, the more likely you are to end up on the recommended moments. Guess who sees that when they log in? Students and parents. Okay? Think about that. Now, I told you I'd be doing a giveaway this month, and here we go. So, one of the really cool things that I got, it came in today. I'm going to be doing another video about reward systems with it tomorrow, is a laminator. I burned my last one up. I love these things. Okay? So, what you need to do is down below, you're going to see a link that says sign up for my newsletter. In my newsletter, I email out one time a week. You find out when I'm having Zoom meetings, when I'm going live on YouTube, what videos I've posted recently, and anything else that's helpful tips for you. Okay? So, make sure you're signed up for the newsletter. Next Friday, which is the 19th, I will draw one winner for a thermal. Uh, this is the Amazon Basics one. It's nothing fancy, but if you don't have one, it is, I mean, these things are amazing to have. You can see it's here in the box. This is what it looks like. They are super nice, and they make such great rewards that will last a long time. So that's what I want you guys to think about. Be aware of, follow my page, and make sure guys that you're on the, on the social medias because I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, and I do put tips and information out there all the time, okay? In the meantime guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the classroom.